Hello, I'm Vernon, aka The Profitable Punter, and welcome to VG Tips. Take a good look around the website. Most people can see most of the content on this site, and that includes some of my interviews from people from the world of sport, be those jockeys, trainers, footballers, ex-footballers, football managers, ex-football managers. Much of that content can be seen by anyone, um, but only members can see first and in full the interviews with the really big names from the world of sport. With the Cheltenham Festival imminent, there's an area of the site dedicated to the culmination of the jump season. There you'll find articles by those whose opinion on national hunt racing I respect. People such as Chutney Dave and Joe McNally. Shrew judges of form, and especially at this time of the season, the form of those horses that will compete at the Cheltenham Festival. I shall be adding my two penneth worths to the dedicated Cheltenham Festival area of the website. Last year I was happy with my returns at the festival, especially the 40 to 1 win on Unartiste, the returns on which set myself and many members of this site up for the year. Now of course only members can access the members only enclosure of the VG Tips website. This is where they go using their own passwords, created passwords, etc, logins to see in real time me add the racing selections, my tips for the next day's racing, usually the night before the racing. And of course, there's always football tips for weekend and midweek football matches. Now, what we're all about here at VG Tips is um, making an annual profit at uh, betting on horse racing and or football. The choice is yours and it can be done. I know it can be done because I've done it since 1998 full time and for a part time some for some years before that. Now, did you know that bookies take more money on football events all over the world now than they do on horse racing? Now, unless they invent an eighth or ninth day of the week, I stick to what I know best and that's football in England and in Spain. There's plenty of experts out there who know their European football. James Darby is one of them and he's writing occasionally for VG Tips as well. He knows his European football onions. I stick to Spain, Spanish football and English football. That's what I know best and if you want a tip about being a profitable punter it is to stick to what you know best. Too many people, too many punters make the mistake of betting on events playing played all over the world, taking part all over the world that they know nothing about. They don't know the teams or the participants but they fancy a punt and uh, just have a dabble. Um, I would suggest you don't do that because that's what the bookies want you to do and we don't want to do what the bookies want us to do, do we? Now, I've been looking back at the profitable punting in 2012, a year that was a very frustrating one for bookies, punters, jockeys, trainers, et al. And that was down to the weather. As early as May, and the Chester Festival, which is usually a nice, dry, turn up in your frock sort of event, well, it poured down and May it played havoc with the plans of so many trainers. Don't forget, trainers get their horses prepared and ready for a certain meeting, a certain race, a certain time of year, presuming that the ground is going to be good, good to firm, that sort of thing. Well, Chester turned into a bog. We had a few weeks, or was it a few days in summer, where it dried out and we were able to watch the glory that was Frankel um, in action. What, what a delight. And without doubt now I give in, having supported Brigadier Gerard for so many years, I give in and acknowledge that Frankel is the greatest racehorse of certainly my lifetime. And it was a joy to see the crowds turn out to bid him farewell. Despite the weather, I'm pleased to report that the 2012 results mean it was another year of profitable punting, both for myself and for those who have followed me by one means or another for last year and for many years prior to that. In all, we had um, selections on 290 days. I offered selections 290 days of 2012. Members got tips and there were 1,343 1, profitable punts. That's 1,343 profitable punts in all, including a total of 1,147 winners in 290 days. You do the maths. 
They include Un Artiste, as I've mentioned, at odds of 40 to 1, and Brindisi Breeze at 12 to 1 at the Cheltenham Festival. Gioffre at 10 to 1 was another of my winners at the height of summer. Then in September, Valerie Bortsoff won for us one more time, at odds of 14 to 1. And that was the same month as my 40 to 1 Richard Hughes ridden treble. Many members got on that, and well done to all concerned. And well done, Hughesy, who had so many good days at the office during the flat season and became the champion flat jockey. Richard Hughes was one of my first big interviews last year. Members only get to see those interviews, don't forget, first and in full. I thought the finish to the 2012 Grand National was really thrilling. Sunny Hill Boy, which will be among the challengers in 2013, beaten by the lovable grey Neptune Collange. So giving trainer Paul Nichols his first Grand National winner. And boy, were they happy with that down in Ditchy. Now, another Canberra. question I get asked a lot, whether it's on Twitter or by email, how many races do I offer per day? Well, how long is a piece of string? Some days, often Fridays, Saturdays in particular, there is a welter of great racing, whether that's on the flat or over the jump. Saturdays are packed full of racing weight. It's good quality and you fancy a punt. Mondays and Tuesdays are often dull as ditch water and not worth bothering with but it varies it varies between jumps and flat season it varies considerably so you cannot say that on every day i offer x or y for example in february on one particular day i offered only four tips because that's all i considered worth bothering with where there might be some value in the betting market where they were most likely to deliver the goods four tips on that day in february or four one now, I'm not claiming that 100% record happens <laughs> often. OK, it doesn't. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I pick 100% correct results every day. No punter does, no tipster does. Don't care what you've heard elsewhere or read elsewhere. Doesn't happen, sorry. But on this day in February, it did. So there were four tips and four winners. Because there was only four bets for me personally to be had that day. On other days... In that same month of February, I offered 12 selections, of which nine won on one particular day. I think that was a Saturday, a busy Saturday. And in the same week, um, I offered nine selections, of which six won. OK, so one day, four out of four. One day, nine out of 12. One day, six out of nine. Not a bad ratio. We all have good days. We all have bad days. Again, any punter that tells you, or tipster that tells you different, sorry, we all have good days we all have days that go wrong and we oh I'll never bet again you pick yourself up you dust yourself off you start all over again simple as that now what I have always aimed to do over many years is offer tips to members who like to bet on horses to win perhaps often at short prices prices sometimes that I wouldn't touch with a barge pole but they would okay um, and I also offer selections for members who like to bet each way who won't touch a five to four shot or a four to five shot or a two to one shot they're not interested they just want to make some possible profit be it as a winner or each way as i've said elsewhere studying form takes hours upon hours upon hours and that's just on the racing and there are so many other sports you can bet on now and form study to do so i've asked an uh, independent person stato man as i call him to keep a record a daily record of my um, returns the profit, the winners, the losers, the whole caboodle on the horse racing, okay? So he's keeping a record, because I ain't got time to do it. I'm too busy doing what you haven't got time to do, namely studying form and picking some winners. So Stato Man is monitoring my results independently of me and publishing them on Twitter and on the website and on VG Tips. There's a graph, he's putting up a graph which shows you the good months, the bad months, the profit, how big it is, how little it is, etc, etc, etc. So it's there for all to see on the website. Now he tells me that between September 2012 and February 2013, the total profit on racing tips alone, this excludes the 51 to 1 within foot whacker and such like, but between September and February, the total profit on racing tips alone was £1,772. That presumes that you've put a tenner on every selection that I've given you, which 
as I've said before, I don't tell members to get on every single tip. I suggest that they're selective with the selections, as I am myself. I often get asked by members, do I back every tip? Good God, no. The men in white coats will be coming for you. You've got to judge where we think the odds are in the favour of us, the punter, and not the bookie. Okay? And members read, if they're sensible and they've got time, read what I have to say about individual races. Am I confident about this one? Is this a tentative vote for this horse? Am I bang on confident about this one? Etc, etc, etc. If they take the time to read what I have to say, the clues are there. So despite the weather, despite the elements, despite the, the heavens opening and meetings being abandoned left, right and centre, we had a profitable 2012. And that's what it's all about. Working out your winnings over the course of a year, to my mind, that's what I've always done. Not a day, an hour, a week, but over a year. And 2012, despite all those interruptions, was a profitable year of punting.